Bill O'Reilly here, and I'm warming up. Stand by for the O'Reilly Update Morning Edition. But first. If you are a timeshare owner, you're probably upset that your yearly dues continue to increase. Lone Star Transfer guarantees the release of all liability to your timeshare in writing and done in a specific time frame. They're the only company you can trust, having helped more than 18,000 owners legally and permanently get out. So please call Lone Star Transfer, 855-551-7066, or visit LoneStarTransfer.com. On this Monday, I'd like to tell you about Team Normal versus Team Crazy. So if you listen to Governor Huckabee Sanders' speech after the State of the Union by President Biden last Tuesday, you got the feeling there were, or are, I should say, two teams in the USA. Now, Ms. Huckabee Sanders says she's on Team Normal and alleges that Joe Biden and his advisors are on Team Crazy. Well, that depends on your point of view, of course, but what I've decided to do on BillOReilly.com is market Team Normal gear. So hats, shirts, mugs, bumper stickers, very simple message, Team Normal. Now, this is being done in the spirit of good humor. So people might say, O'Reilly's on Team Normal. No way I want to be on that team. I understand that. But Team Normal represents traditional America, I think. And Team Crazy represents the woke zealots who are doing all kinds of nutty things, in my humble opinion. So which team are you? Team Normal or Team Crazy? I know the deck is stacked. I know that. But if you are a committed team normal person, go to BillOReilly.com and show those colors. Back in a moment. No question there is a concerted effort to intimidate and silence conservative thinkers and replace our God-given individual liberty with big government controls. AMAC, the Association of Mature American Citizens, is the leading conservative advocacy, and benefits organization in America. AMAC gives you access to exclusive benefits and all kinds of great content. Please stand with AMAC at amac.us. That's A-M-A-C dot U-S. That is the morning O'Reilly update. More analysis later on.